terrible clap. Rundown Thursday, November 12th. Cat uh, Timp is back because this is – Honestly, this is probably the biggest week of your life. There's a lot of things that every time it breaks, like, oh, that's a cat story. So uh, Sunday, Greg Gutfield, 10 p.m., Fox News. Um, that, I'm sure you're, like, doing all your notes and stuff because that's probably going to be your hallmark episode. We'll talk about some of the stuff here, but it's a big it's a big PR. It's a big, like, pussification week. Um, we've been talking all week about Missouri. Uh, today... Ithaca is pulling Missouri and basically trying to get their president fired. So, Kat, what do you think of all this stuff that's going on? I What's wrong with these kids that they think the world needs to be a safe space? Well, who told them that they have to be comfortable all the time? I don't understand. People are sometimes going to say stuff that you don't like. doesn't mean you protest and you stop going to class. I really hope that people look at who these kids are and that they're not able to get jobs in the future. That could be one good thing. Question for you. Now, yeah. do, um, and, and we're all pretty much have very similar views to that. I don't know about middleman Dan, but most of us do. Um, <laughs> the question I have for you, like the Yik Yak kids, Missouri, all right? So yeah. the Missouri kids who are threatened. <laughs> Come on. Be the, a professional. Be professional one time. The Missouri kids, the, now we're going to have problems. Um the Missouri kids, yik yak. So the threats of these two white kids who are like, we're going to shoot everybody who's a black kid who shows up. Uh, and they are in the Missouri school system and they found out who they were. They got arrested. That led to the professor who didn't want to close. That's where I get confused because what's going on now with like school shootings and like, what do you do when you have two idiots who do this? Do you have to t like, <laughs> do you have to take that seriously? Do you know what I'm well, saying? Yeah, it's I like mean, you have you two. You don't know what I'm saying, Dan? I, you can't No, you're be, just doing an awful job of saying it. No, you can't be threatening people's lives, obviously. That's that's not a good idea to threaten people's lives publicly on the internet. Especially, I just it, it just makes all this so much worse. I mean, the, the Missouri kids, it, it was so bad with them saying, like, you, the media can't be here. It's my safe space. That really just, that just blows my mind. Like, I, I would love every time I didn't want to hang out with someone to be like, sorry, it's my safe space. Can't come to work. It's my safe space. It's too crowded here. It's my safe space. But that's not how it works. Agreed. So, yeah, but I guess I did do a bad lines. job of explaining. I guess like the the Melissa Click lady who should be fired and is not fired yet from Missouri, who resigned from her ceremonial position. Like people like that give credibility to our side of the argument. Be like these idiots who are pro protesting, don't even know the rules, all that. But then you have the two white kids on Yik Yak who kind of lend cre credence to you know all the kids protesting. Be like it's an unsafe safe spot. People do want to kill us, and you guys don't understand what's going on. So there's like idiots on both sides and the yeah. silent majority nobody should protest but you know it, it's maybe those kids who are saying to the professor we should cancel class they may be kind of right because what if this kid was serious the missouri yik yak dude who's going to show up and shoot everybody right i mean you can't do that in that specific instance there's a point but i don't think that that's the majority i think the majority is though there's like university-wide campaigns saying that all these different words are offensive it's not a safe space so that is the attitude on these campuses that if you're whining you're automatically right so yeah if someone's threatening to kill you then yeah maybe you should cancel class but that's not what this is about this is just like a convenient thing for the other side that these like two wackos decided to be crazy wackos yeah, and I agree. I mean, I wrote a blog this morning that I was pretty much serious that said if you're not at college to basically play a sport, play video games, party, or learn like a real skill you need, like being a doctor, then you shouldn't be allowed yeah. to go to college. I know. All Don't go there to study philosophy and wine. First of all, I get death threats all the time on the internet. I People say that. they want to kill me all the time. I and it's that. like, whatever. Do you ever take those seriously? No, I don't. I one time made fun of like a super fat guy and it turned out yeah. he was in the mob and then he called oh. me and I took that very seriously. Uh, yeah, guy, yeah. It, I usually don't, I get a lot of death threats too, but a guy when he was like, he said he was in the excavation business, it was bad news. Uh, Big Cat? I, the good news is the protesters have protested themselves out. No one oh. cares anymore. They're, they're a total joke. Like. I didn't even know this Ithaca thing was going on. No one's going to pay attention to these guys because they're boy, they're, they are the boy that cried wolf at this point. So they, the fact that they keep doing it. 
Yeah. Maybe. If every if every campus does this, there will never be a good protest again, and they're only harming themselves. So just let them keep doing it. I don't I don't give a fuck anymore. Just let let everyone protest. And then no one will be able to protest, and they'll just hurt themselves. The fact that uh, all of the the incidents in question at Missouri turned out to like maybe be fake, and now Ithaca jumping on board. I think Emory is doing it. I saw some emails about Fordham. I think the overwhelming reaction from Ithaca is like, "Fuck these kids!" Right? I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody's on their side. So the fact that the very first copycat is the, the general reaction is like, "Fuck this!" I think is a good sign that. Most people, I think, are seeing through this. I think most maybe, people are actually... Maybe they'll hire people to post yik-yak things, like a plant on the inside. Inside job. Maybe, yeah, they'll, maybe it'll be an inside job. You I know, would know. put it past uh, feminists. Oh, like, have, like, some of the most... I remember that story, like, a <laughs> feminist who was screaming, like, all this rape stuff uh, at one of these schools, and she turned out to, like, just have totally made it up. And, right. Yeah, and there was this one. Yeah, she was like a big fat lady, yes. big yeah. fat feminist lady, being like, "People are saying that I'm a dev they want they want to rape me." And there was like this school protest, and she made all the rape threats against herself. Right. That was and that's uh, that's what's happening. They're all yeah. just killing themselves. There will be no protesters anymore. If you're a real, if, the, if there was a real protest at this point, it should be protesting the protesters. They're that's the, the only. That's the only legit protest left. They're the ones making it an unsafe space. They're the <laughs> reasons why tensions are so high. They're the reasons why yik yak people are like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to like fuck around and say we're gonna kill people. The only reason things are at like a fever pitch are because of the fucking protesters. It's unsafe because of you. I yeah. also will say, Kat, you may like this one. You would have been I would have let you waltz right in. Um I all I said that ugly girls who are like blame their ugliness on other people they shouldn't be allowed at college because they're almost always like the ones stirring the pot because they're just mad that they're not pretty and they take it personal yeah people say things are i was talking about this really hard for women but they're not they're hard for unattractive women that's just yeah. that's, that's and amazing. everyone gets that's so funny. mad at me for saying that and also it's like love your body but only if it's a fat body like i'm not allowed to say i love my body because i don't have an ugly body Kat, so it's I, yeah it's all these big fat girls that they're they're so brave for the because they're fat. I don't think so. I, I don't I'm going to so. try to rehire you again after <laughs> this rundown. That, that was that's, a great line. I mean, it's the truth. What she's it saying is, is the true. truth. But if I said that, people would come at me. But it's true. Feminists are all and and they're like forced lesbians too. Do you agree with that? Like they just run out. No <laughs> guys will date them. So it's like you become a lesbian. That's a fact. Um, the ba yeah. we, I, and then you're sexist and you're the problem if you don't want to hook up with a fat chick. And That's how they spin it. Oh, I love it. And another thing we always get is like we have Simmons, this big feminist school here in Boston, which I've said I'll go one on one with any of them. Like call me in and I'll go toe to toe because we post pictures of pretty girls, smoke show of the day. We get their permission. We like ask them and they say yes. And then they get mad at us for exploring. It's like they want to. And by the way, being pretty is an advantage, just like an athlete being like a guy athlete who's born with this special skill and uses it. That's an advantage. Being a freak show supermodel is an advantage that they right. use um exactly yeah but you're Virtual not allowed to be five. praised for that only if you're you're fat if you're fat and naked on the internet then you're brave but if you're not fat it's not okay it's stupid i don't care you can be as fat as you want but i'm not going to call you brave for being fat who was the leah dunham when she posted like the ugly picture of herself and then she's <laughs> right. like i got bullied off the internet you're gross <laughs> nobody asked you to do that that was that was the internet doing its job yeah like you need that self police Yeah, it's not like it's she like, didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah. You know, she's like, tries to get people to say mean things about her, and then she's like, see how mean they are? Shut <laughs> up. Like, eat less or look like that and don't care, but, like, whatever. Totally. This is, this has been a great rundown already. We should just end it on a high note. Um, would you kill, and this has been going around, I didn't watch the debate of this past one. I was uh, out working, but a lot of people said it was boring. Uh, it was not a good debate because Trump was not like calling people names and whatnot. Um, the baby. So if you have anything that we should know about the debate, I'm all for it. The question I keep hearing going around with these politicians. So here's what happened with Stella real quick. Why I have her Renee. My wife is on vacation and did not cancel the cleaning people and <laughs> she'll go nuts. It's just so rude. Like I'm trying like to run a fucking store? business here and I have the dog barking. I can't, she can't stay home. She never comes in. It's a little, a, just a tiny bit of thought would have gone a long way today. Would you kill yeah. baby Hitler cat? Absolutely. Me too. Absolutely. Of course I would kill baby Hitler. Wouldn't you kill baby Hitler? 
Of course, no brainer. I I don't know how anybody wouldn't kill. Well, here here's here's the question though. We were just talking about this a minute ago. It's how you have to kill baby Hitler. Like would anyway, you, would you bash baby Hitler with a baseball bat? Sure. Yeah. You say that, but when you're face to face with like an infant and you have to pummel its head with a baseball bat, I question it's whether Hitler. Or not. Yeah, but it's, it's Hitler. Hitler. How could you? You if you had the chance to kill baby Hitler and you didn't because. You're too big of a wimp just to like bash his head in. The Holocaust is kind of your fault. Yeah, it is. It's not really I, a wimp I borderline thing for kill me. baby KFC. <laughs> uh, see, here's the thing. I'm not gonna have me bashing a baby skull in on my conscience for the rest of my it's life. It's Hitler. For, it's for Hitler. Jews, like for Jews like Portnoy. I'm not doing that. I I'm not sticking that. my neck on the Holocaust to happen Nazi. on your conscience. The, the yes, problem is, it's not even. It's not even killing a baby. Like it's simple butterfly effect. Do you guys not realize that? The Holocaust probably still would happen, and if it didn't, Stalin would be would run the world. Like, there's, I you're know, like I don't think kill maybe Stalin too. But you think like Hitler, that shit still would have happened. Germany's a fucked up place. Like they were ready to do that shit. It wasn't like it was nice and beautiful and peaceful, and then Hitler brainwashed. Like those people wanted to fucking kill a lot of Jews. Hitler or no Hitler. So you're one of those guys. If you like step on a flower, or if you go back in time, oh, yeah. step everything. Yeah, you, you pick up yeah. spiders and let because them outside I have a brain, instead Dave. of squashing them. Yeah. No, have you this ever is seen more, more this? How many times on this show have we said, "Don't get involved in anybody else's drama. Right. Stay away. I'm not a hero. I'm not going to get involved in that bullshit." Well, I'm no, not it's go Hitler though. That's totally different. Else. That's totally different. That doesn't that doesn't fly. If you know this what is if Hitler, you kill him. What if a smarter Hitler then comes along and he has the fucking atom bomb and he Dude, just yeah, blows see, up like all of America? Well, I mean, I'm you're, just you're, saying, you're, you're not this, picking this through, Dave. This is a classic like Twilight Zone episode. Oh, we killed Hitler. We saved everything. No, nope, yeah. it's ten times you worse. Two are, yeah. You two are kind of like morphing this into like a different. The the answer of could you kill We're an infant with a shovel no, is one thing, yes. Yeah. But you're saying like, well, if you kill baby Hitler, you're going to create a super Hitler, and then oh, I'd be dead, and all these wonderful people That's wouldn't even be listening to the run down right now you're but that's kind of a reach no it's not that's it's not the, the spirit problem is of the your question. brain that's like the excuse you would use thought. because you didn't want to actually have to do it yeah you're, dave it, your brain's never thought more than like an hour in advance so that this is like a this is the difference in brains here that's maybe the most um preposterous statement i've ever heard <laughs> okay that's all right what i'm looking for um this next story, by the way, there's a great story that I'm blogging right now, which should be on the rundown. Maybe I'll try to explain it and get your guys' take on it. But we have a hot tub death. Um, sad story, but we don't know them personally, so it's kind of funny. Um, so a couple in their 60s were having sex in a hot tub, and the guy had a heart attack, and then sounds like he drowned the wife in the hot tub. So they both died. The death part is sad. The circumstance is unbelievable. Um, KFC, what do you got on this? If you're 67 and you're like fat enough and out of shape enough that you're going to die having sex, you shouldn't be having sex in a hot tub. There are certain limitations that you have eventually when you're an old person. If you're so fat that you can squash your wife to death, if you're so out of shape that you're going to have a heart attack during sex, don't have sex and certainly don't have sex in a hot tub. It's, it's, it's try hard. It's like you're old and fat and you're about to die. You don't need to impress anyone with hot tub sex. Just do old people stuff, and you won't cr end up crushing your wife to death. Big cat. I am I the only one who thinks this story is all really fishy, or are we just oh, super are we, fishy? Okay, I was gonna say this has <laughs> like murder suicide kind of shit going on here too. I feel like I don't know. I, oh, I thought you meant maybe my, it didn't happen because I well, think it was and like the, the Daily fact that it Mail was reported. The week of the wedding, like the whole thing, just yeah. seems not real to me. Cat. The week of the wedding thing, that's a huge bummer. Where your parents, oh, they died having sex in a hot tub. My dad died and squashed my mom to death. I mean, I think there is something to be said for dying in an interesting way. There is. You I hope I die. I hope my death is something that will go viral. It's a click-worthy headline. I've always wondered how many people will show up at my funeral. Like That I, guy, I, though, I, yeah. That, the one thing that sucks, though, Kat, like, that's, I agree with you. You want to die in a cool way. But if that guy had a heart attack having sex in a hot tub, he shit all over that hot tub. Yeah. That's like a shit hot tub by the time the cops get there. So it's not as cool as you think. I'd also rather just not die at 67 banging my old wife in a hot tub. If I have to die, I want to go in a good way. I don't want to kill myself by having sex with my old wife. What would be a good way? 
Just sign like, your like when when, when the awesome. time has come. If I was like ninety and I die having sex in a hot tub, fine. What is but, a good way? Yeah, what's a good way? Just in your sleep. You just go no, to sleep but and that, you, wake No up. one remembers the guy who dies in their sleep. Yeah. But it's a pretty good way to go. Oh, that's if you're not trying to like have history remember you, it's the best way to go. But <laughs> if you're trying to have history remember you, probably like jumping in front of a test. bullet to save the president. Yeah. Cat, you would do that, right? Oh for, yeah. All for Obama. Um. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> commercial break. We're back. Um, I'm gonna squeeze in this story. Real quick, this wasn't on the rundown. I'm going to explain it. So we're going to see how quick people think on their feet. I'm blogging it. A lady just got a girl, like 30 years old, eight years in jail um, for she pretended to be a guy and befriended her best friend and then said she got disfigured. And the only way they could meet is if her friend wore a mask. And then she got a prosthetic penis and fucked her 10 times. Until the last time she requested a blowjob and the girl took the mask off and was like, aha, you're my best friend. And now she's in jail for eight years for being an imposter. It's a true story. I'm blogging it right now. Uh, Kat, what do you got on this one? What the hell? Well, what, 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 who does that? And also she wanted to get caught, right? Because why do you, what, what, what is wrong with everybody? This makes, I didn't see this and now I'm upset. It's no. an unbelievable story. I'm going in. I think the girl had to know. I've never, and I said this, I've never been fucked by a fake penis, but I, I guarantee you I could tell the difference. Big Does that cat. imply that you've been fucked by a real penis? No. <laughs> but it doesn't. Fake penis were definitely crossing off. It doesn't. I think I could tell that I've never been fucked by a penis, period. Okay, I think I could. I, and my point was I think I could tell that without ever having sex with a penis, I think I could tell the difference between a real one and a fake one. So, first well, off. Listen, I Maybe mean, the other person was always very drunk. So where are we stand on the you having sex with a penis, Dave? Haven't had it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the, I, this actually, I like this story just because it's <laughs> ultimate catfish. Like, catfishing has become kind of like everyone ca gets catfished you you can just create a twitter account and a fake email you can catfish someone this is like serious serious catfishing you kind of have to respect going to that level Can't you also it. have to know if you respect are respect is a weird word for this but <laughs> if you're catfished <laughs> if you get catfished you deserve everything that happens to you so if it turns out to be your friend with a fake dick or whatever, like that's <laughs> on you for being. Yeah. Also, yeah. like, doesn't like who your friends are say something about who you as are as a person? Yeah, yeah. you are the like, company you keep. These are right. Yeah, these are your friends. Yeah. And, that, who want, and, friend? and yeah. like, if you've never met somebody, why would you wow. willingly be like, oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a love interest who's disfigured? That's almost on you because you haven't started. Why would you start with someone who's disfigured? I could get it if you Where get disfigured. Was if you get disfigured while you're already like someone gets disfigured three years into a relationship, you're stuck with that person. But to be like, oh, you're disfigured before? Why would you? Where do that? was this, Dave? Uh there's pictures of the girl. It, it's um. Where where Actually, did it happen? It, she she looked like she could have normal sex too. Where did it happen? That's. It's got to be like a rural, like Arkansas. I, or... I think like no. Washington State. Huh? Where where was it? I I I, I blogged this ago a month ago. You blogged this story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. You yeah. did face pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. That's awesome. or or there's two very very ridiculous similar catfish stories. Not losing his fastball. I'll, I'll dig it up. Or this is like a thing that yeah. people do. Yes, yeah, this is a thing. There's gonna be copycats say, everywhere. Well, people who live in like, what is it? I'm looking. People who live in rural areas. This is the type of shit they do to like be like, oh well, I'm not like fancy enough to live in New York, but I'm like having sex with a disfigured person, so my life's interesting. Like that's what they do. They do. Is that what, is that what is they it? do? <laughs> I'm that, telling that, you right now, that's what they do. Because I've been bored before, and I always think of a thought of other ideas. Listen, first. Kat, you get bored. Yeah, you've been bored before, but how long? Like a day? You've been that's Kat, a week, a month. Now you're fucking all kinds yeah. of shit. You've been New York <laughs> bored. You haven't been rural bored. When right. you're rural that's bored, true. shit gets it's, it's not. It's not America. She was University of Chester. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm glad I threw that out. Ray Lewis is doing a rap album and he released a snippet today. That's why men cry for women. That's why women 
women <laughs> Can I slow down to To honor a woman Mama if you hear me I'm sorry for the pain And pass it to your love I was in the and Listen. I know exaggerate. I mean, it, it was the worst song ever. It was the uh, worst it, thing I've ever heard. Yeah. It's ever. worse than your song, Dave, which is almost. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me say something here. I wasn't because I know it's always, hey, Dave always wants to make everything about him. So I wasn't going to mention any of the rap songs, any of the rap battles. Because yours do was it. bad. And when I yours say my bad. song's a thousand times better than your song, everyone's like, it's not about it. It was about uh, Ray Lewis's rap but song. You're, you're not bringing up the rap songs because your rap song is bad. I'll bring up the rap songs because my rap song was good. My rap song shit on Ray Lewis's. It shit on you. And you and Ray are like, eh, you're like a little bit better than Ray Lewis's song. That's, that's, Look, it was so bad that he needs to be upset with whoever let him do that. Here's, he doesn't I don't think have he has any people. real friends. I don't, I don't think Ray Lewis well, has people. Everybody, everybody needs somebody in their life to, to say like, no, dude, that's not good. But when it's Ray Lewis, I think you just let him do what he does. The beauty I of guess. this rap song is anyone else puts that out there and you're like, they're trolling and they're in on the joke. But Ray Lewis, no one in the world has bought their own shit more than Ray Lewis. The dude fucking killed a guy. And he goes and, and like talks about how morally great he is. He is so br he is he's warped his own brain. He probably thinks this is the best rap song ever. And speaking of rap songs, and KFC brought it up, I don't know if you've seen in the gossip pages, it looks like our boy Bieber may have cuckolded Mike Studd. Have you guys seen that? No, what like happened? Bieber, uh, so Mike Studd's girlfriend is Jose Canseco's daughter. That's who he dates. Josie Canseco. Isn't she like 16? No, she's uh, 18, I think. 19. I mean, he's young. But she, Dude, was spotted, she was spotted out with Bieber in the clubs Wednesday night. And then Thursday night, she went out again with Stud, and everyone's like, "What happened?" So I'm trying to get to the bottom of what happened a little bit. I he I, I he probably want I'd I'd want to get cuckolded. Bieber, Bieber wants to fuck my girlfriend. Knock yourself out. Because let's talk about Bieber's album that he just released. It's Timberlake 2.0. It's that good. You guys can hate on it. Cat, have you listened to it? I I like that he he called out what's her face in that Selena. song. That was awesome. Yep. That's how everybody needs to respond to a breakup. I'm number one. You suck. That's the only way to do it. And people don't really do it that much anymore. I don't think, think that about Selena. What? what? He how? Didn't, he didn't even write it. Ed Sheeran wrote it. Why would Ed Sheeran write a, a song trashing Selena for Bieber? Because it's the best. How do you know <laughs> Ed Sheeran any wrote it? Huh? Of how course. do you know Ed Sheeran wrote it? It's like common knowledge. It's You're talking about common knowledge. If you don't want the things, it's for idiots like you who are like, oh, Ed Sheeran wrote. Who else could it be about, Kevin? Dude, Dave. chill out. It's you Bieber's chill album. Out. Relax. You chill out. You, you don't know I'll what you're chill. talking about. You're upset that you didn't know Ed Sheeran wrote this song. You think I didn't hear knowledge. that Ed Sheeran? You don't think people like it's not about her? But I, I have a brain and I choose to use it, Kevin. Um, All right, Dave. Here's another thing. What that the means. whole reason that Bieber's songs are good is because of that Skrillex guy. That's no. why they're good. No. His voice is good. It's Skrillex yeah. drops beats that right. like make well, everyone want to fucking then dance. Tim Timberlake was only good because of Timberland. Yeah, you that's fine. I bet you didn't think I had that in my back pocket. I, just see, I saw you guys. Had look. A, I didn't see that motherfucker upset, dropping that knowledge on you. You just got upset because Kevin said Ed Sheeran wrote you a beat. You know, Beatles. I was going to say something mean to you, but I'm not now. Um... This is you are you are like you have morphed back into like a sixteen year old. I'm chick. not a sixteen year old. I've been very mature. Cat, have I been mature? Thank well, you. Well, I mean, it's there's not nothing important. lamer than being like I was gonna say something, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it. Maybe you should mix in something other than like a flannel shirt once. Like, in I have I have a secret, but I can't tell Dude, you. Buddy, what? My girlfriend goes to another <laughs> school. <laughs> flannel too. Seven six Romanian fifteen year old. This guy's amazing. The way he runs down the court is not even real life. It's the most amazing. Like He actually looks sort of fluid, except when he runs back down the court, and it's electric. I could watch that guy run down the court all day long. Big cat. He's, he's yeah. like a CGI from what's that movie with the big blue guys. He's I, I've never seen anything like it. You could watch. I could Avatar? watch him just. What, what's that movie? Avatar. Avatar. Oh yes, okay. Like, just I don't understand. It doesn't. It can't. It doesn't compute in my brain how he's moving and he looks like he's fake. It, he does look like he's fake in that in that clip we watched. Cat. I don't know. Like, has this team has this team ever lost a game? 
Oh, because I think like, you can put a like body on him and he'll that. break. He I didn't look dominant. I wonder if people dominant. try to hurt him a lot. Can I this, see? There's so many incredible – first of all, it's in Transylvania, right? Like what – they play basketball in Transylvania. That's I thought that was a joke. Yeah. Second, second of all, when I saw him, when I opened that blog, I gasped. I, I was like <gasps> – because you see like seven foot six guys. They don't look like that. And then you see him run <laughs> – like he runs down the court and he does that waddle. But otherwise, he's got like a soft touch. He had court vision. He was like dropping dimes. I mean, for a set. And, and then the real sad part is like, this kid's probably going to die when he's like 18. Oh, but for sure. Whatever. For yeah, now, that can't be healthy. No. But he's, we've said this before. I mean, he, he, Transylvania, if the basketball thing doesn't work out, they'll just put him in a cage and like have Freak. people walk and like poke him with a stick. <laughs> um, all yeah. right. Th- that's the rundown. Do we have anything post show that we want to talk about? Are you are you like? Did you not get enough <laughs> sleep last night? You're very very grumpy today. I didn't think I was grumpy at all. You guys oh. just I was <laughs> thought I was a gracious you, nice host. You and were then lashing out. Starts talking you page views. Out. You start Dude, making. I, fu- you I, insinuate I, that I I have fucking sex with dicks all the time. <laughs> I was doing. My, I was trying to be like you guys. This is your little game. I'm nice. I don't do anything. And then you guys attack me. And when I respond, Dude. fire. It's like, whoa, Dave's out being of, mean out today. Out of every time you and I have butted heads and argued and shit, me saying that Ed Sheeran wrote a song set you off like a fucking stick of dynamite. You went nuts over that. I just stated a fact about who wrote a song. Fever, fever. Like, Fuck you, man. Dude, Fuck you. Fever, fever happens to everybody. The best. The best was yesterday's rundown when Kevin was like, Dave, you're just like, we have to prop you up because you keep just like half saying something. And Dave got so mad, he just goes, you're just a loser. He's just like, <laughs> he gets so angry. That's that next I don't know, Dave. Break. You're like getting angry these days. I'm not you getting angry. Chill out. I'm, I, I'm on edge because my dog's barking right now. I'm trying to do work, but By I'm not way, angry. That Cat, little like soliloquy about your life, like, my wife's on vacation. She didn't cancel the maids, so I have to bring my dog to work with me. Like, oh, my God, life is so hard. Check, Check your privilege. Seriously. <laughs> Fucking uh, protest you. Dave, where are we? The people want to know, where are we with the challenge? This is going to make you jealous, uh, KFC, because when I do something, I get them. See what that is? I am, I am absolutely jealous of that. I will not lie. Freaky Friday gloves. I bought them. When I go outside, this is going to turn into unicorns in the cold. No big Dave, deal, but we... kind of a big deal. Wait, those are sick. Where are we with the challenge, though? Uh, I, oh, we got to do it. We got to I... ask Kat what she would do with the challenge. Yeah, Kat, what would oh, you do with the challenge? Oh, that's a good question. So the so... challenge is the 6, 8, 12, 18, 24 challenge, okay? There's four activities. Running miles, drinking beers, eating donuts, and masturbating. So you have mm-hmm. to do those four things in those four numbers – over the course of 24 hours, what activity are you going to do for each number? Okay, which what what, what are they again? It's are six me- six twelve eighteen twenty four, and the activities are eating donuts, drinking beers, running miles, and masturbating. Okay, well, definitely running miles and then drinking beers because if you want to get a buzz at all, then you can't have like a, a donut stomach. Okay, full of donuts. So far, you and I agreed to exactly. So you're going to um, run in the last two. I, I really could go either way. It's different for women, though. I feel yeah. like chicks can masturbate 10,000 times in a day. I feel yeah. like that's a lie. Cat? No, it's not. There's really it's nothing true. physically stopping them the way it is for exactly. us. Exactly. Right. They might so, not yeah. want to. It might not be enjoyable on your 24th try, but it can happen. Whereas a lot, Dave, hard, a lot harder here, for us. Cat, Dave thinks that he can jerk off 18 times in a day as a 40-year-old man. Hey, I'm not 40. So I don't I'm know your life. I don't know. Well, I can, Kat, and I'll okay. prove it. So you'll, you'll <laughs> okay. know don't and the world will know. Yeah. <laughs> the world will know. And the we world will be and, shouting and my name will mountain. ring so what are you from doing, mountain to mountain top as the guy who beat off 18 times despite heavy, heavy, heavy doubts. And, Maybe that and, will be how you die. <laughs> there you go. That'll be memorable, and that'll get I, all the people I, in your I shirt. don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I need to have a day where I wake up and I'm light on my feet. <laughs> so that's never, <laughs> never. When have you been? When was the last time you were light on your I feet? I feel great. I've been, I've been, I have uh, once. I've been good for a week. I just was away at the hotel, so I did, whatever. You're not gonna pin me in court. I guarantee you, I do it within two weeks. Fact. 
This is all Shark right. Report all over again. Yeah, thank you. Done. Thank you, Kat. I'm going to be looking for you on your show because you're like my favorite. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's going to be a good one this what week. What time again, Kat? 10 p.m. Fox News, Sunday. We're in. And I'm going to shoot the email and try to swoop you away from Fox News. That Sounds didn't work good. the first time, but it's like, who's Fox News? Yeah, because you're <laughs> right. Does, Do they does use Rupert Skype? Murdoch? Does Rupert Murdoch say he's going to masturbate 18 times in a day? I didn't think so. No, not that I've heard. There you go. Point Barstool. All right. <laughs>